Welcome to the Avera Orthopedics Post Game Show on Midco Sports Network. Jackrabbits are in the split with an 89-78 win over the Coyotes here tonight in the Showdown Series weekend. And welcome back in. The big guys get it done. For one yeah. thing, for South Dakota State, uh, Matt Dentlinger and Douglas Wilson with 21 apiece. Let's go down to Eric Henderson, who is standing by. And let's talk about defensively what kind of switches you guys made there really in the, the second part of that second half to kind of take away that screen and roll action they'd been getting. Yeah, well, we wanted to make an emphasis of, uh, you know, not letting A.J. play with all that space. He's a tremendous player. He obviously can make shots and, and is a tremendous passer. So we wanted to make sure that he was playing in a phone booth and, and didn't have a lot of room. And, and I thought our bigs did a really, really good job. And then obviously Doug made some terrific defensive plays down the stretch and got us some easy baskets in transition. So big, big time effort for those big fellas. And I thought one of the big changes you guys did make in guarding Plitzel White, though, was the insertion of Charlie Easley onto him defensively. Talk about what Easley meant to this team tonight on that defensive end. Well, obviously he did, he, he, you know, he's physical. I thought he got, you know, some 50-50 balls, which, you know, we didn't win that battle last night. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, we felt like what the outcome of the game was because we didn't win that, we didn't win the game. And it was a huge emphasis tonight, and I thought Charlie was tremendous on A.J. and then also, you know, coming up with some loose balls for us. All right, a uh, couple of big road trips still yet to come, but uh, good win tonight. Uh, appreciate the time, Handel. We will see you later. Yeah, thanks, guys. I was proud of our guys for bouncing back like they did. All right, thanks, Coach. Jack's off to Oral Roberts coming up next week, and they still got to go to North Dakota State. And, uh, yeah, the race got a little more interesting with what happened tonight, especially uh, now that South Dakota State pulls this one out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they keep themselves right in the mix and, and bring South Dakota back a little bit more to the pack here. And, uh you know, obviously uh, winning on your home floor is ultimate. If you're going to try to win a Summer League race, you can't really afford to lose too many at home. Losing the one last night hurt South Dakota State, certainly in that part of it. Now, if you're SDSU, you got to think about, okay, we got to go back and out on the road. we got to find ways to get some wins, and it's going to be tough. I mean, SDSU hasn't played a road Summit League game yet. I mean, they've had them all canceled, the ones they were supposed to play. Out, no, not their fault at all, of course, but now they got to go see if they can do it, and they've got two tough ones coming up here. Both teams hit the road. USD is uh, at North Dakota mm -hmm. coming up next weekend. And then uh, USD gets some of the other league leaders. They get North Dakota State and Oral Roberts at home for those final two series of the regular season. Let's take a look at the second half highlights of this one brought to you by Avera Orthopedics. Coyotes led by six at halftime after having that big lead in the first half. But Stanley Amude kept it on. 18 in the opening half, 34 on the night for Amude. Well, he was just sensational all night long. And... and was great with his efficiency too. I mean, just scoring around the rim, had some just really difficult shots that dropped for him. Struggle a little bit from the three-point line, but uh, overall, Moody really carrying his team. Matt Dentlinger ties the season high with 21, and he had not been doing a whole lot offensively in the Summit League season at least, Bradley, but really comes on tonight. Yeah, I mean, even just this whole season, only averaged about seven points a game, but 10 of 11 from the field, and Dentlinger just back to the efficiency that they need him to be at it as a post. And his wingman, Douglas Wilson, comes up big again tonight with 21 as well. Yeah, and a great bounce back game for Wilson, who just had a tough night here last night, shooting the ball and struggling from the line. And Wilson coming up with seven of those points from the free throw line. That was huge. You touched on the turnovers a little bit. That is a monstrous disparity, yes. considering that USD does not turn the ball over very often. Yeah, when you look in coming into this game, I mean, USD was 14th in the nation, fewest turnovers, only averaging about 10, and they have 17 of them here tonight. And then you see how much the points off turnovers swung in SDSU's favor as a result. Final numbers brought to you by CU Mortgage Direct. And we do have the updated standings on the men's side now in the Summer League. Coyotes still on top at 9-1. Jacks right in there in the loss column at least. Oral Roberts did beat North Dakota State tonight. And uh, let's see, do we have that updated? Anyway, ORU did win on the road at North Dakota State. Denver got its first win of the Summer League season. Uh, Western Illinois knocked off Omaha again to get their third win. Well, yeah, you certainly look at, you know, the top teams matched up against each other this weekend. South Dakota, South Dakota State, North Dakota State, Oral Roberts, Tom. 
and splits in both of those series. And uh, I don't know if we determined anything more other than those teams all seem like they're really evenly matched. It's going to be a great run through February. All right, thanks to Corey Wilson, our entire production staff. Thanks to Justin Sell, everybody here at South Dakota State University. College Volleyball coming up tomorrow afternoon on Midco Sports Network. Thanks for watching.